G'day legends, I hope you're all having a legendary day and welcome to Stories Untold. Now this is the game that the developers made before Observation. So looking at Observation, I was very excited when I saw that they had made this one and it was a very popular game as well obviously. So I don't necessarily know anything about it. it I pretty much bought it at the same time as I bought Observation because I was like Observation looks fantastic which therefore means Stories Untold will be fantastic. So I'm excited to check out what they have in store for me. So let's uh let's jump right into it. Okay, in this little game, look at everything. The house abandoned. All right. Interactive horror adventure. I love it. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it is... But it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Glove box. Glove box is closed, but it appears to be unlocked. Open the glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note from dad. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around the back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Oh god, please don't be a skull. You pull up to the driveway of the family home and park the car. It's dark, but it's a... Wait a second, I just read that! Okay, um... So we got the note and the key. Get out of car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. <laughs> Go to front oh, front door. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Okay, in front of you is the front door. Oh, right, it's in front of me. So open front door. <laughs> wow! <laughs> the door appears to be locked. You'll need to use a key. Use key to open front door. You should know that. Use key. The door lock clicks open. Open. Oh, <laughs> I did it again. You step inside. Oh. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Switch. S switch? Does that make sense? Turn on lights. I love this. Click and nothing. There's no power. <gasps> oh, wait. I've got to do the generator. Okay. Um, where did he say the generator was? Read note from Dad. Can you read it in the dark? <laughs> it actually answered it for me. Oh, I love this. I love this so hard. Okay. All right. All right. Um, all right. Um, go outside. Okay, good. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stresses around the side of the house. Back yard. 
you take a walk around in the backyard. Okay, we figured it out. <laughs> the yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Oh, good memories. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Really agree, they were good memories. Look. Okay. Clock stayed the same. Okay, go to generator. Did I spell it wrong? Okay, go to generator. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. You go to generator. You're standing next to the generator. Fire up generator. Use generator. You switch the generator on and it works to life. The house is still dark. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything, so etc. Okay, turn on the switch. I don't know what you're trying to do. Okay. Turn on lights! You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Ooh, where do I want to go first? Oh wait, Dad said there was... Go upstairs. Go up stairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Go to my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Go to desk. Okay. Go to box. Open. Open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. <laughs> you can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Press enter continue. Hang on a second. That's what we're using now. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well on your desk. is a Futuro computer and a copy of House Abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. Set up. Futuro. Oh, okay. Set up computer. Computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. What? The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game in there too. Play game. Let's get all meta in this. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Oh shit! <laughs> I knew this would be meta. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, did I just... Oh, we broke it. Uh-oh. You pull up to the driveway. What? It's dark. It's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check in the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Well, that's different. Okay. Wait a second! All the faces have things on them now and everything looks all abandoning you like... Oh, because now we're really playing the game? Like, in the game game? Playing a game in a game? Okay. Look in glove box. I don't know if I want to. The glove box is closed but appears to be unlocked. Oh right, open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out of the car, get out of the car. Oh, uh, oh, uh, okay. You, okay, get, get out of the car, get out of the car. Don't worry about the text, we have to get out of the car! Shoot balls. Get out of the car. You force the wrapped car door open. 
The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side, wood creaks in the rear, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Why was my car wrapped? Why, why was it wrapped? Okay. Look around. The lights are off. Windows are broken. There is a front door in a yard. Go to yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown. Weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note needing to look around. Look around. Just don't look behind you. There is no generator next to you. Use gen... Generator. Gen... Generator. Oh! Okay. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Go to... Front... Of... House. You go back to the front of the house. The house looks abandoned. Wood creaks in the rain. All happy memories of this place are gone. There's no love here. No, no, there isn't. Alright. Go to front. Go to door. Okay. Go to front. No, no, no. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Get okay, use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock. Okay. Open door. You reluctantly step inside the front door. I can hear that. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale, air, and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note. Well, it's probably too dark. Okay. Um. Turn on lights. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. Light switch flickers on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect. Or worse, there are stains and trails upstairs. The sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else in this house. That can't be. It's me! We're in this together. Go upstairs. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Make what stop? Um, go up this. Turn off a alarm. Okay, somehow the alarm stops. You feel the panic set in. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Read the note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Look around. There are stairs and doors to the kitchen and living room. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. There seems to be writing on the wall what looks like to be blood. Look at writing. Jesus! The number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Oh, I can see it! It's right there! When did that get there? Okay, um, look at carcass. You look closer but can't tell what it is or what it was. <laughs> okay, go to utility room. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. <laughs> All right. Go to living room. Okay. Go to hallway. You step back into the hallway. Your shoes are. How did I get wet already? The noise has stopped, but you feel the presence. Someone is in the house. Okay. Go to. Go to living room. You enter the living room. <laughs> the living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. 
This is not a nice place. No, 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 I don't, I don't think so. I'm waiting for that alarm clock to turn around and read 666. Look around. Run down and empty, abandon and for good reason. Okay, um, go to hallway. You return to the hallway. Go up this. I don't know if I want to. That's where I am right now. Weird. You head upstairs. They... Some but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about... <coughs> Jesus Christ! Behind the door, a phone starts to the ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. No, we don't! Answer phone. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be in there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever, you consider the worst. Hang up phone now. Oh, thank God. Okay, same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. The pictures all over the wall. Something different. Look at pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out. <gasps> Just like in these photos. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Go to bathroom. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every service is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is in is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Ew. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Look at sink. It's a disgusting grime and dead bugs. The taps won't budge. Alright, go to landing. You step back into the landing. Same but different. Differ.ent. Okay. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Okay, um... Unboard... Room? No. Alright, go to... Look around. Oh. Look around. The landing is bare and worn. Photos adorn the wall, all misaligned. A line... Photos. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay. Go to my room. God damn it! I don't know if I want to do this. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Oh, okay. Um, use 1986. I don't know what you're trying to do. Okay. Um, use lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. 1986. Oh, I can hear the lock opening! Same but different. The landing has access to your sister sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Open your door. Hello? Hello? Look around. The landing is bare and worn. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. Go into your room. You went to your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grab the note tight. Look around. Sorry, I don't listen. Look around. You see me sitting there, helpless. You edge closer. I can hear you breathing. Okay, um... Go to... Me? Oh, okay. Read note. 
I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take. Even in this place, I was out of my hands. But still, you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Kill myself. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. I am not pathetic. Pathetic, you dick. Oh, please stop. Oh, what? You understood that? No. It was all my fault. Say it. It was your fault. No. You say it. My butt. No, fine. It was your fault. Not mine. It was never my fault. The fire started itself. I swear. It was an accident. I was playing with dynamite. It was your fault. You scared me and it blew up. Fine! Jackass! It was my fault. It was my fault. Kill myself. Kill yourself. Wait, what am I saying now? Um, it was all my fault. Finally, doll. Oh. That was nice. I love that. That was beautiful. Oh, I like that. Let's do another one. Let's do them all. That was cool. I like that. All right, all right. Um, the lab conduct. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave it there for today and next time we're gonna do the lab conduct. I'm gonna do the whole lot. That was freaking fun. Alright, so thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Um, and yeah, um, let me know what you reckon and I will see you guys for the next one. Ciao!